So you only thought you could cook short ribs in a big pot on the stove or in the oven. Well, guess what? Today, we grill them, bitches, and you're gonna love them. These are beef ribs. They're gorgeous. They're beautiful. And it is true, most people tend to cook them in a braising situation. That's like in a big pot on the stove with some liquid, cook slowly, they steam, they get tender, they get great. But you can also grill them. And that's what we're gonna do. Shit, are they gonna be good. But before they go on the grill, we're gonna make them a lovely little onion marinade. It's gonna be good. So of course, we're gonna start with an onion. But to get the most out of it, we're gonna grate the little sucker, just like this. And yes, you're gonna get the onion like shredded up beautifully, but there's a ton of moisture in here and we want that. So do your thing. And when you're suddenly at risk of losing pieces of your fingers. Which I'm sure you've done before. Which I've done before. Add the rest. And that would be some minced garlic, a couple of them, minced ginger, fresh, of course, it's amazing. Some long red Holland peppers, we'll chop up. And I'm okay with the seeds here. These guys are not that hot. So we're gonna be okay. And they smell fantastic. Some chopped green onion. Of course, I don't know how I could have a recipe that doesn't have green onion in it. Goes in. Try to get that fucking fly the next time he comes around. Oh, he's on my ankle right now. Mm, quarter cup of brown sugar. Lovely. Juice of about half a lime. Good squeeze of oil. A quarter cup. A couple tablespoons of soy sauce. About a teaspoon of sesame oil. And of course, a big pinch kosher salt and the fresh ground pepper, and we mix. God, that looks good. Yeah, it does look I great there. I don't think we've never made something like that. Oh, this onion, I'm telling you, this onion is really what helps make this thing, as my mother-in-law would say, deluxe. Mmm. Okay, gorgeous, right? All right, let's prep the ribs. So here's what we're dealing with. This is what four pounds of beef short ribs look like. And clearly this is the beef side and here's the rib side. There's four. They're about a pound a piece, even though there's extra here and some extra here. So here's what we wanna do. We're gonna cut them and trim them up a bit. So just find your middle point and down you go. And by middle point, I mean the spot between the bones. Like here, here's a good example. Bone, bone, right there. I think we'd all get that, right? So find your middle point and cut. And there you go. Nice. And one more. This guy. So see, do you see this, the fat in here? That's called marbling, and that's gonna melt while we're cooking, and that's gonna bring the flavor. That's what you want. But there's a little bit too much fat on these guys, so starting with this kid right here, let's see what we've got. Like this kind of stuff, look, it almost just pulls right off. I don't really need that. That's not really gonna be my friend when we're cooking these things. This little bit here, depending on how deep it is. Yeah, we can take that off. I don't wanna eliminate every bit of fat because we know that fat brings flavor and we like the flavor. If you're worried about beef and fat and stuff like that, you should have some carrots, I think is probably my best suggestion. So here, 
again. This in here is not too bad. I can take a little bit of this out. But just take your time. This is, you know, look, you've got a sharp knife, hopefully, in front of you. And by rushing, you're only going to do one thing that I've done a million times before. You're going to hurt yourself. We don't want anybody to get hurt. So don't. So look, take your time. I'm OK with that guy. This guy, now you see this? Look, there's two different types of fat here. I'm glad you're on that side, Max. This is just your basic run-of-the-mill everyday fat that comes off almost by pulling. If I had a paper towel, it would come off a lot easier. But this, underneath it, this is called silver skin. That is not going to do anything good for anybody, and it will just f screw this whole thing up. So we've done this before. It's easier if I have a paper towel, so why don't I do that? You pull up the, a little end of it, and then you use your knife as close to the skin, to that silver skin as you can here, and then you just pull away. And there, that's what you've got. You've got this terrible thing taken off that you don't want. There we go. Here's a little bit more silver skin. Here, we can try and get this off too. I'm telling you, it really is the scourge of any, any animal product. Just get rid of the shit. It's just impossible to f***ing eat. You're going to go to all the work to season these, flavor them, marinate them, cook them beautifully on the grill. And then somebody's going to get a piece of that shit in their mouth and just game over. And then just finish up the other two. And the last one. Look, basically all effing silver skin across the top. So a knife goes carefully underneath. Out. Then you grab a new piece of paper towel. You hold it, and you go along. You got a big, giant ass piece of this horse shit. OK, there we go. Look, before we stick these in the marinade, let's steal a little marinade for after. There we go. Perfect. OK. And let's put our ribs in. Just nestle it. Oh. You want all the sides covered. Look, this back part is not that important because it's just bone. And unlike those boneless ribs that we did a while back that we pulled off this membrane, uh, we're not eating back here. So I don't really give a shit about that. You, you want to take that off by all means, be my guest, have a party. But the goal for this second and the next couple hours in the fridge is exactly what you're seeing here. Get these guys covered well. Make sure everybody's happy. And how could you not be happy with this gorgeous, amazing smelling marinade on you? We'll cover them up. We'll stick them in the fridge. Before we put the, uh, the short ribs on the, on the grill, I got an email the other day from somebody that said, hey, we just watched the episode where you smoked a big a tomahawk on the smoker. Remember that? Oh, yeah. That's good. So good. So wh what options are there for people that don't have smokers? And I thought about it, and short of being a dick and saying, your light's out, Max. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the line. Oops. Stand by. You hold that. You've got no plug. Oh. And before uh, I am a dick and say, just get a smoker, because it's not a good answer, I thought about it a bit, and I thought, you know, they make those, those things that you fill with uh, wood chips, and you put on your grill, and there's holes in it impart smoke. So I thought, that'd be cool. Maybe I could suggest that. And then I thought, one step better. I'll buy one and try it. We'll run the experiment. If it works, this is a great option. If it doesn't work, then it's a piece of S, and then you don't have to worry about spending your money on it. We're nice guys, right? Like other people are doing this? OK, so here's what it looks like. Stainless steel, clearly holes all over it because the flames have got to get to the underside. So what you do is you take the, this type of wood chip, not the giant. I mean, I guess suppose technically these are wood chips. Fucking flies, man. I'm going to shoot somebody. So this kind of wood chip, not big pieces. 
they got to be small so they actually you know can get to get burned up on the on this thing so we don't want all the water in this so watch what we'll do we'll do this we'll put this guy here and then we'll let most of the water come out and we'll just drop them in and I don't know how much. I'm sure too much can't be a problem. I'm sure too much can't be a problem. <sighs> Max, f***ing hell. I can't f***ing do it. And that looks about fine to me. Let's make sure you can shut it. There you go, and that's it. Once your grill is hot, on it goes. So, we'll throw it back here in the middle. We'll shut her and we'll let it start to get a little smoky before we put the ribs on. And speaking of the ribs, I just took them out of the fridge because we don't want to cook them ice cold. So give them about at least a half an hour out in the open, away from the flies, so they can warm up a bit. And then we grill. Move away for a sec. Move, move away, move away. It's fing got me. Max. Fing hell. God. I can't fing do it. Look at it, smoking like fing crazy. I gotta leave it up for a second. Ugh. Oh. And here we go. And look. Ah. It's smoking like a son of a bitch, which is great, but bad for my eyes. Okay, this took about a half an hour to get smoking like that. That's great. This side is on sort of medium high. I've turned this side down to low because we're gonna finish over there, but we're gonna take our gorgeous beef ribs. Ah, it's hot. Here, you ready, Max? And get sort of as much of this off you can. Wow. No. I just made a noise I've never heard before because I'm so excited. No. But the goal is we got to get this thing on. These guys on and shut. Ah! Holy crap, the smoke. But the key is to keep the smoke in. So, Max, I got to shut it. My eyes are recovering. The thing works. We'll see if it imparts flavor because smoke without flavor is just a pain in the ass. Here's the thing. We want to let them start to sear and get some decent color before we turn them on their sides. Um, and, and so we'll let that happen, but we're gonna try and keep the lid down as much as we can. So there's gonna be a lot of this. Max, quick, lift the lid, turn, turn, shut. Max, again, come. It's gonna be that kind of stuff. So. Just hang with us. Then we'll, when, once they're good, 10, 12, 15 minutes, all the way around, we'll move them to the, the low side to let them finish through. And just let me say, little personal uh, public service announcement for myself. Um, I was reached out to by a Jason Hawkins. A Jason, you will know why. And um, I don't have any way to get in touch with you. That's all I'll say. So will you uh, like direct message me through Instagram or something like that? OK? Slide into your DMs. Slide into my DMs. He doesn't even know what. Is that, that what means. you kids say these he days? He has no idea what. Yeah, that means. dude, slide into my no, DMs. No, never mind. Don't say that. And we'll do some crack. And what is slide? That means into basically trying to hook up with you. So never mind. In a sexual way. Yes. Oh, I don't want that. I mean, I don't think I want that. Pretty sure Kelly doesn't want me to have that. Let's check. But wait, stay there. Look at the. Do you see the smoke? Look it! The son of a bitch is working. It. Keep it shut. Come on over, we'll turn him. Hey! Hello, sweetness. Let's just turn these guys this way. Look at this big boy. Hello. Hello, Sam. These are some meaty motherfucking ribs, boy. Look, look how meaty that is. Do you know how, do you know, 
Do you have any idea? Do you? You don't, do you? There's none. Nobody has any ideas. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we got, fire we got, like, fire. Maybe that will put it out. If you starve it from the oxygen, doesn't that, uh... Nope, it's still going. Okay, I don't know if that's good. Let's just do this. Oh, shit. And just... Come on. Come on, man. Work with me. Well, I guess it's okay. Shut, Mac. Shut, 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 shut. Okay, let's get these guys on their sides and start to... Oh. Mother may I. So we're going ultimately for 130 degrees inside, guys. And we're going to know it's there because we're going to use a thermometer, a good instant read digital thermometer. We're not going to guess. Poor Max. Every time he's got a nice shot going, I shut the lid. So if you're wondering if, if the smoke box works, do you see this? This. Ugh. Almost works too well. Now, I thought it started to run out a little bit, so I put some uh, more of the chips in here and got them wet, dumped the water and just laid them on top. But it's all good. But now we want to move these guys. Ah, sh Ah. You know how you're at a campfire and the smoke follows you? That's what it's doing. Look at this. It's unbelievable. It really is. I'm very impressed. But again, it's about flavor. Okay, but here's what we want to do. Now, look at this guy, wow. So our goal now, now that they're beautifully browned all the way around, I mean, absolutely looking superb. Our goal now is to take them and put them on the not hot side. So I've turned this side down Let's take our little smoking guy, put him over here. Now the ribs are coming here to finish. I'm gonna set him on the bone. Ah, attack at the smoke. Now they're sitting on the bone and now we want them to finish slowly. Get gorgeously tender, but before we shut the lid, it's let's give them, me. let's, <laughs> the fucking thing works too well. But before we shut the lid, let's uh, give them a little base with that reserve sauce. That's what we want. We want that gorgeousness on there. Oh, can you smell that, Max? Oh, yeah. Is that just insane? And you see, now check this out. Pay attention. One sec. Ready? Apart from this guy falling over. Don't fall over. Don't fall over. Do you see what's happening? The meat pulling away from the bone. You know what that means? It means the meat's pulling away from the bone. No, it means it's cooking. It's getting tender. It's shrinking. It's tenderizing. It's getting gorgeous. And let's check a temperature while we're here. 117 on that guy, 114 on that guy. So we're all in the same range. We got another 15 degrees or so to go. So a little more of this. Can there ever be too much basting? I don't think so. And then we'll shut it. We'll just let it live quietly by itself like that. And when they're ready, off they come. Look at this. Look what's happening here, man. Wow. Mamma mia, this is insane. Stand up for me. This guy. Get a load of this guy. We're all right around 130 degrees. Do you see this? Do you see what that? You know what that means? It means you're gonna be freaking insane. You just say the word, Max, and I will take one, and I will cut it, and I will eat the shit out of it. So here's our test guy. Now remember what we've got. We've got bone down here, so we can just simply cut him off. Oh, look at that color. 
Okay, this is, oh, hot. That's what it is. It's unbelievable. And then to take a piece right here out of the middle, like that, where the fat is melted, it's juicy, it's, I say unctuous, I don't know that that means what I think it means, but that's going in my mouth right now. Okay. There's a little bit of sweet from the brown sugar. That soy, of course, gives it that kind of umami-ish thing, ginger, garlic, everything that I love, everything. And here's the thing, you braise short ribs and they get fall apart tender. You could take a piece in your fingers and go like this and just completely shred it. So there, there's more firmness to this, but in the most delicious, beefy sort of way. Holy I mean. sliced super thin, which is, which is sort of hard to do when it's this um, uh, fresh off the grill. But, but pieces like this, like in a, in a sandwich or, or in a quesadilla or just thrown on a plate beside like some amazing potato salad or grilled corn or a grilled half a romaine we had last night for dinner. This is bacon and oh God, was it good. But this, this is beef, beef, Th this is what's for dinner. Stop. Mm. You can cook short ribs on a grill, ladies and gentlemen. There's proof right there, proof right there. So what do we always say? Make these, make everything. Don't make the same thing all the time. Thanks for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. We love that you're here. We love that you like and, 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 and comment and, and share our stuff. Can't tell you how many people say they got turned on to us because a friend told them about us. And we thank you for that. Oh boy. I got some, I, I could turn this into anything now. But I'm just gonna stand here and eat all the pieces by myself. And that kid ain't getting nothing. Hey, by the way, if uh, you want the recipe, just slide into my DMs and we'll take it from there. <laughs>